Hello there, uh, John Cassani here, Calusa Waterkeeper, uh, bringing you our regular updates on water quality conditions and issues in the region. Um, I want to focus a little bit more on uh, cyanobacteria or blue-green blue algae this time. Uh, we're at that time of the year where we're seeing a very high water temperatures, a lot of storm water runoff that's bringing nutrients into our waterways, and that's fueling algae blooms. Uh, you're probably aware there's been a very significant uh, cyanobacteria bloom on Lake Okeechobee. It's uh, been uh, ongoing for about two months now. It is producing toxins, so you should avoid that at all costs. Uh, we're hoping finally the Department of Health is providing uh, notification signs at the boat ramps. We hope they're doing that now. Um, also, we're seeing uh, cyanobacteria in other areas, uh, not only around the state, but here in our region. We're seeing uh, cyanobacteria in Cape Coral canals. Several of their canals have pretty significant cyanobacteria blooms. Uh, the councils, uh, Cape Coral City Council recently uh, uh, put a new fertilizer ordinance on hold, and where we think that was a big mistake. Uh, we think they should be regulating uh, fertilizer runoff more than they are. Uh, as a result, now we're seeing these toxic algae blooms in people's backyards. That's, that's kind of a, a significant issue. Um, we're also seeing this sort of, um, it, it's more of a macro algae. It's a type of cyanobacteria. It produces toxins and it's known as formidium. And we're seeing this floating on the surface in many of the Cape Coral canals. We're actually seeing it in Estero Bay. Uh, some areas on in the coastal areas like uh, Matlache Pass. So be on the lookout for that. If you see that, please report it to us through our, uh, our email address, through our website. We like to know what's happening, where it's happening, and so we can notify the agencies of what's going on. <clears throat> We've also asked FDEP to adopt new water quality standards for cyanotoxins. And even though the Blue Green Algae Task Force has asked them to develop defensible standards and criteria, they seem reluctant to do that so far. Uh, so we may need some help from you trying to get uh, the department, uh, trying to ask uh, Governor DeSantis to perhaps motivate the department to adopt these uh, new cyanotoxin standards. Keep in mind, it was Governor DeSantis' executive order that brought about the Blue Green Algae Task Force, and they have asked FDEP to develop defensible standards. So, so far that's not happened, and we might need some help getting that to the finish line. So, we'll be providing you some information here in the next uh, week or two on how you can help us do some outreach to the governor's office, perhaps the secretary of FDEP, uh, trying to get them to move forward on adopting these standards. We're also very concerned that the governor is not appointing people to key uh, governing board and advisory boards around the state. So we'll be talking to you more about that issue here in the near future. Um, that's pretty much it for today. So we hope you're doing okay out there. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you soon.